Well, Miss Pumpkin, making an appearance, hmm? To what do I owe the honor? Ha! <laughs> True, I'm the one just sitting here waiting on your dad to call me into his office. But you missed me. You know I can only come around when your old man gives me problems, right? It's always nice to see you too, sweetheart, regardless. How have your studies been keeping? Ah, oh, really, keeping above board, huh? There's a good girl. Focusing on your studies and your future, unlike Nicodemus. Where is your big brother, huh? Not around to cause problems today. Hey, hey, come on. I know you two are close. Nick is a good young man. He just has your old man's propensity for uh, getting into mischief, let's say. I always assumed it was a billionaire thing, you know. Once you have it all, once you've bought everything you've ever fancied, what's left but to stir up a little trouble, huh? Wait, you, you and Nick are both adopted. I, I didn't know that. Well, that does my heart a little good, I'll admit. You and Nick have always seemed a little too close, Pumpkin. Be honest with me, are you getting hurt here? Agent Gray, it's been some time, my friend. How the hell are you? Just catching up with Pumpkin a little, Killian. <laughs> Daddy's girl. Avoiding all the temptations her brother and father get into to keep the family name respectable. You know... Your old man appreciates it, right, Pumpkin? That a girl. Come on, Gray. Let's get to talking. I'm sure you've got all sorts of shady evidence to show me, huh? <laughs> oh, I love it when you try and blackmail me, my friend. Pumpkin, Nick should be home in a few minutes. Be a good girl and make sure he knows I want him here. Yeah? Oh, many thanks, my princess. And try not to let your brother get under your skin. All right, Killian, let's get down to business. You know you have the asset. Asset? Gray, I have many assets. Hundreds of bodyguards. Endless riches. A date with a very fine lady that's all about single dilfs. <laughs> Life is good, but I get the feeling this is about something else entirely. <laughs> oh, Gray. You really don't want to do that. Nick's going to be home any second. You really want to shoot a single dad in front of his kids? Killian, these are non-human entities that are incredibly dangerous. The quandary needs them back in captivity so they can hinder any behavior that's going to make them completely inhospitable to humans. Please just surrender it peacefully. I don't want to do this. I don't want Pumpkin or Nick to see you like this. Ah, called in the special squad, huh? I hope you told them not to hurt my kids, Gray. No god could help you if you hurt my kids. Cigar? No harm will come to them. So long as you surrender. Damn. Hey, Pumpkin. Could you do me a favor and go say hello to the mean men that want to hurt Daddy? No, Killian, what are you doing? They'll shoot her! Hear that, sweetheart? They might shoot you. What, what's happening out there? Killian, call off the asset now! Or... Or else I blow that smug grin on your face off! <laughs> Pumpkin. Daddy needs you for a second, hon. Gah! Pumpkin! You're the... Sweetie, don't growl with your mouth full of a man's neck. He's off. Gray's beaten, he knows it. Besides, it sounds like Nick's home. Nick! 
Come on, we're having family time in my office. Agent Gray, wasn't expecting you to be here by the time I got back from my business trip. How have you been? Still enjoying snowboarding. What? Nick, you too? Hey, you're going to share some of that blood and flesh with your big brother or not? Kids, play nice. You two can have your sparring sessions later. D two? How do you have two quandary assets just casually living under your roof? Hmm. You know, that's a great question. See, these two are interesting. Both are vampiric, both can shapeshift, apparate, have mild telekinesis, and so on. But Gray, being a single dad is rough. These two have to be my kids, but they're naturally drawn to each other. I guess I'm fortunate that rich people can get away with taboo things, hmm? I wouldn't take one without the other. Package deal. Cods above, Killian. Even if they aren't human, God knows how much you're fucking them up with that kind of mixed messaging. We can't exactly be open about it, no. And granted, sometimes I have to kill anyone that gets too sweet for my little sister here. But weep to ourselves, Agent. At least until some idiot decides to try and raid our home. Pumpkin, were you nice about cutting those men down? Such a softy. And you couldn't even bring down Grey here, could you? Now, now, Nick. Give her a break. Agent Grey's been in her life for some time now. Saying goodbye's difficult. I'm sorry, Grey. I'll always be fond of you, but I can't have you breaking up this happy little home, can I? For fuck's sake, don't do this! They might be young adults now, but you've raised two entities that need to support to live normally. Killian! <sighs> Oh, don't worry, sweetheart. I'm not going to have him killed immediately. I have to torture some info out of him first, but you'll have a chance to say goodbye properly. Okay? Do you two want some pizza? Fast food? That sounds good, Dad. <laughs> Great. I'll get Jeeves to put out the order for our usual. You two get cleaned up and I'll see you in the kitchen. Well, good job today, kids. Really proud of you. Now, let me get out of the room before you start up with your, no offense, but weird vampire shit. I'm not used to you being the one hunting and killing our prey, you know. It's cute. I hope t I get to see it again before too long, pumpkin. Weird vampire shit is going to have to wait until after hours, I think. Dad always underestimates how we get after a big kill. I have missed you, though. Hunting down rivals in Istanbul just isn't as much fun without hearing people scream when you reveal how cute you are. Gray made his choice. He could have stayed content being bought off, getting to look at you from afar, but no. He had to bring honor and morals into this. Had to go trying to be the big, tough asshole to save the sweet billionaire's daughter who was innocent in all of this, right? You'll get over it. Come on, burgers. <laughs> 